someone once had a heated conversation in the hallway outside of um, the room where I was. Uh, this was not happening at Good Shepherd, just for the record. This was somewhere before I came here. Um, but this person, after a heated exchange in the hallway, uh, came into the room where I was, threw herself down in a chair, and said uh, with exasperation, I know God loves that person, but I don't. <laughs> um, I think that's profoundly faithful. Uh, that's a statement of faith, and forgiveness is an act of faith. Um, forgiveness ultimately, in every circumstance and in every way, is God's doing, and we are given the opportunity to participate in this world-changing work of God. But all forgiveness for all time, uh, this is the mystery and the majesty and the miracle of the cross. Um, all forgiveness for all time was um, accomplished, maybe, I don't know if that's the right word, but it was accomplished upon the cross, right? We're in the Gospel of Luke this year. On the cross in Luke, uh, Jesus says at the moment of his death, as the whole world rejects him and unjustly executes him, the words that come from him are, Father, forgive them for they do not know what they are doing. And within the Christian tradition, we really understand that to be God pronouncing God's final judgment on the world right here in the middle of time. So we already know what the final judgment will be because it already has been. I know that's a little heady, but um, the judgment is a judgment of mercy and grace. So, um, we are people who are empowered to steward forgiveness. In many ways, conversations about forgiveness are, are stewardship conversations because we don't actually have to generate mercy or grace. Um, we take that which is first given to us and pass it on to our neighbor. Um, so I think that's incredibly freeing in a lot of ways that uh, just as my colleague um, or, or the, the person who came into my uh, the room where I was said, you know, God loves him, but I don't. <laughs> um, God forgives you, even if I'm having a hard time with that right now. I think that's a genuine and appropriate statement of faith. I'm here to tell you about the God who forgives you, and I hope my heart catches up. I hope the Spirit can form me in a way to be there too. But even before I understand it or feel it or believe it for myself even, um, we're able to proclaim Christ's judgment of grace for all. Again, in a, in a way that sets a boundary, in a way that says yes to new possibilities and potentially bridges us from old ways to new ways.